Hello and welcome back to another episode of Master Detective Archives Raincoat playthrough here on the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in again. And before we are going into the next game, we have now started with um, episode 3 out of 5. Yeah. And knowing 5 is apparently pretty short and 4 is also shorter than the rest. Like this is the last... Uh, this is the last one, which is going a little bit longer, but then the rest is shortening up quite a bit as far as I know. But nonetheless, uh, there are a few things we have to talk about. And no, it's not just about the game. I think one of the most important things is this Friday, there might be a chance that I will not upload a raincoat episode. I know that sucks. And I'm truly sorry for that. I'm I'm trying not to do that, right? Because this is like the um, my just happening channel. Every two days, there's a new episode here, right? And so I'm just trying to make that happen. The thing is, though, that Battle Escape 3 is coming out on Thursday. And I'm planning to play quite a bit on that on Thursday. And then I'm actually thinking about uploading some of the episodes over the next few days here on the channel. So that's probably what I would do. Uh, that doesn't mean the raincoat is disappearing or anything. We are, we are not done. I'm actually now really intrigued about raincoat and last the, uh, since the last episode where we have found out quite a bit when it comes to Yuma's past and who are we talking to. Apparently we just talked to our father who was also the former executive of the company we are trying to destroy. Weird shit happening. Weird shit happening. And so I'm, I'm really intrigued to figure out more of it. But again, Baldur's Gate is a game I have been looking forward to for so long. And again, I'm thinking of like, maybe, maybe we can do like a full playthrough. And then I'm just thinking about uploading it here on the channel, um, which takes me a little bit of time because I also have to do some thumbnails there. And I want, I want to do it right. Right, I want to I want to put some uh, quality here when it comes to the playthroughs, and yeah, so there is a chance. I'm not saying it will happen. I'm not saying it will happen, but there is a chance that this Friday we do not have a raincoat episode. Just a fair warning. So, with that said, um, there's I think all the announcements I want to make. So with that said, let's get to it, shall we? Alrighty. Since he lives on the top level of this tower, he can't be an ordinary person. We. He brushed it off, not to mention. He talked. To Either way. Are you sure? You oh, you're right. Anyway, I'm. End it here. Yes. And. What happened to Fusshead and the others? Yeah. Like. They're fine. They the question is. Be. What are we doing next here, right? I I assume we are trying to find the others. That that would be my assumption. I mean, it's really the only thing we can do here right now. We don't have a case. We don't really like. Really don't know what happened to the others. So we we'll just assume that yeah. We are trying to find the others. Hmm. Let's do that. I mean, where to start, huh? I mean, we have an informant now, right? I mean, why not, why not asking our informant? Who should know all about this? Oh god, are we really now running from district to district? This is one of the things I'm... I don't like too much. This game is sending you through a lot of loading screens. And loading screens are definitely not the strong suit of this game. Because it's a Switch game, right? So loading times are unfortunately a little bit long between all the districts. And it really takes you a little bit out of the immersion. Funny that it's raining in the game. It's also raining... Oh, what the... You again? Uh, hey! He ran away when he saw me the other time too. He definitely has the detective logo on it. Did something? I 
don't think so. He's a complete stranger. You sure you don't need to hurry to the riverbank? You might find Fuzzhead's corpse and then some. No, Rude. that's not true. Don't say ominous stuff like that. Yeah, it's also raining here right now quite a bit. That's just kind of funny. That? And why did they run when they saw me? Yeah. Who cares? It's not like you're gonna figure it out by standing around here thinking about it. It's it's interesting. Well, shouldn't you be worried about Fuzzhead but it was definitely a detective. Right. I have to get to the agency. Uh, cloak he had on. Oh god, is that us from the future? <laughs> and if you're like, wait, what? It's it's something they did quite a bit with um another day for some fantastic fitness training for Zero Escape. AKA the Nuno Re games. They did the same thing there. Spoilers. I mean, that game is now, what, 20 years old? I do recommend it still. The series is pretty good. Same goes with uh, Danganronpa. I really have to play through the AI, the AI Somnium files at some point. Well! It's terrible. The agency is completely blown to pieces. That ship is a goner. Damn. I thought I found a place I could call home. <laughs> I mean, you might find some shelter between the wreckage. I don't know. I don't smell any corpses. I thought there'd be some around here. I mean, they would have probably carried away by the river? Of course not. Everyone is still alive. Master detectives wouldn't die so easily. <laughs> Well, if Chapter Zero has taught us anything, Master Detectives die very easily. You say that, but didn't they all die on the Amaterasu Express? Right? It's like... She... she gets it. Th that's... yeah. Uh -huh. Huh? Oh, what the... Oh, man! Uh, 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 uh. We're getting dragged away by an elf? Did I saw that right? Are the weeps coming for us? Oh boy. The lappers are here. Not the weeps, the lappers. Damn it. I still remember when I did steal that one ring. One of them was really upset about it. What the hell? Huh? Our new detective agency. Where am I? You're finally awake. Well, I also just woke up. When you go to sleep. Yeah, we know that. We're one and the same. I remember I was suddenly thrown into a car and I think you let your guard down too much. How many times are you going to let yourself get knocked unconscious? I, I can't help it. This city is so weird. You mean the city is trying to kill you? Why does this keep happening to me? I mean, if you if you haven't noticed, this city is out here to kill you. Who would do such a thing to you? And for what reason? Yeah, why not just kill you? Right. Could it be the peacekeepers? No, again, they would have just murdered Look you. Look around. It's so dirty here. If it's the peacekeepers, they'd probably be sitting on reclining chairs with their feet up in a tidy room. <laughs> what if it I can see the it. Peacekeepers, then who? Resistance. We can worry about it later. First, we have to get out of here. I guess that's fair. Where am I? Anyway, I'd better find a way out of here. Like with the posters, I assume. Resistance. Huh? Yeah. I I assume we are looking at the one, at the hmm? resistance. Aww. Who brought us here? Interesting. Of course the door is locked. Open. 
This seems like it's locked with a padlock or something from the outside. Padlock? Why do they even want to imprison me? More like, can you not just lock the door? Why do you need a padlock on a door like that? Um... Vent. There's a vent here, but it's too small to pass through. The floor and the walls don't seem fragile enough to break, and there's no way out through the ceiling either. Hmm. Mm, looks like you're stuck in here. Oh, you thanks for the support. About it. Just enjoy it while you can. <laughs> Wait, what? Woo it's so fun! It's like we're frolicking through the sunlit grass in spring. Are you going stir crazy? It's hopeless. We're completely stuck. It's just like everything in my life right now. I'm trapped with no way out. Man, that's a slap Astro too close so to home. Right <laughs> it's like he's given up on everything. Hey, can I give you a back tattoo that says "My life is over"? You're such a dick shit Sorry, gummy. but I'm not really in the mood for your antics right now. What's got you so down anyway? It's not like you had anything to lose in the first place. Besides me, that is. Aw, my life's been a mess ever since you started haunting me. Shinigami, what about those other detectives? What do you mean? You said you've haunted other detectives in the past. Now you're coming up with that? Okay. They all gave up their memories, right? Were they able to achieve their goals using the power you gave them? Uh, I don't really remember the past. I'm the kind who forgets what happened yesterday. Oh, but there is one detective I distinctly remember. Oh? He always liked to say this one thing. I want to eradicate all unsolved mysteries from this world and bring happiness to everyone. Huh? I want to make a world where no one weeps while imprisoned by unsolved mysteries. Okay. He said that with such sparkling eyes that I laughed out loud. I mean, fits your <laughs> M.O., it yeah. Makes me laugh. You dick. As if a single detective could do that. <sighs> imprisoned by unsolved mysteries. Like the watchmaker's son. Or Kurumi. Well, literally imprisoned. If those cases remained unsolved, would they have suffered the same fate? Not for long, they would have been murdered. So you didn't answer me. What about that detective? Was he able to bring happiness to everyone? Hmm? I don't know. Besides, I don't remember much. Weird. But if you look at how the world is right now, isn't the answer obvious? I guess. There's no way detectives can make people all over the world mm. happy. I mean, yeah, like, what, also what happens to the detectives at the end? Like, <sighs> she is here, so that means she is not with those detectives anymore, which means they all died in a gruesome death? Even in Kanai Ward alone, the number of unsolved mysteries keeps increasing. What can detectives even do? Detectives are useless. I'm useless. I mean, yeah. Huh? Master, someone's coming! I mean, what can you do about that? Oh, hey, bald, half bald dude with what? Oh. You're awake. Sorry for getting rough with you. It was necessary at the time. Forgive me. Huh. Well, don't we have quite the character here? Uh, um, who are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm glad you asked. Consider this. Have you seen a child crying on a street corner? How about a kid wandering with no place to go? That was all my doing. We're a group of volunteers who shed blood so people like that don't have to shed tears. That's right. We're the proud resistance against Amaterasu Corporation. 
So was right. Re resistance. And I'm the head honcho. The name's Shachi. Nice to meet you. This reminds me. I've seen the flyers all over Kanai Ward. Have we? Yeah, passing out flyers is an important part of our activity. We need to recruit as many people as possible. No, like seriously. Have we? Though once we're finally caught by the peacekeepers, we'll probably all hang. Or worse, like put you into small little body cubes. <laughs> but what does the resistance want with me? We want to resist you. First, uh, let assist me apologize you. for not being able to bring you here in a more graceful way. But if I didn't do it this way, you couldn't stay hidden from the peacekeepers. Mm. Why did you go to such lengths to see me? Allow me to explain. Please, would you join us at our hideout? I want you to have a little chat with my friends. A hideout? Don't worry, they're all good guys. Says the evil guy. Come on, follow me. God, I'm so hyped for Baldur's Gate. <laughs> it's get, it's, it's getting worse and worse, man. Trouble. Which, by the way, we are doing a full evil playthrough of. Mm hmm. No saving the world, but destroying it further. Yay! It doesn't look like you have a choice right now, anyway. At least he's the type of guy who's kind to a lost kid. Uh, I'm not a kid. Yeah, how old is Humor? Shit, man. It, is it really okay to follow him? By the way, Master, we don't know the answer. Decisive. Don't spoiler it. I'm pretty sure it will be important at some point. But yeah, we, we do not know the answer to that question, interestingly enough. And we have checked. Oh. Oh my, it's already morning. The sun rose while you were fast asleep. Oh, it's only rain. What is this place? A shanty town. The whole area is submerged. It looks like stagnant rainwater that didn't drain. Wow. Do people actually live here? Oh, this is where all the rainwater goes from the oh, city. The weirdos who carve up animals could live in a place like this. What? Is this your first time in Doya District? Doya District? In short, it's what you'd call the slums. That makes sense. It's like this thanks to Amaterasu Corp. The people here are forced to live in the backwaters. Literally. They don't seem to care one bit about the unending rain. Of course they don't. They're all living high up, looking down on us. All the dirt and grime they spit out flows down from the city and ends up swirling around here. Ooh. This is the reality of Kanai Ward. Kanai Ward's reality. Come on, our hideout is this way. It's such an anime trope, I think, to just repeat the words just our got dream said. Is to change Doya district scenery. We want to help the poor smile again. If this game the resistance, but it would be better for everyone if things can get resolved without a fight. Ever comes out on PC. I doubt the peacekeepers feel the same way though. They're always striving to crush us. I want to see how this water That's effect looks like on PC. Prepared to fight back. Because we don't know I don't know what like this is, but we don't know if this damn man. Smile when it does. We may not have the answers, but we have to keep fighting. We were born and raised here after all. Like, damn graphics. <laughs> I know it's a, it's a Nintendo Switch exclusive and all that, and chances are pretty high that it would never come to PC in the end. But it's Unreal Engine, right? I'm playing Remnant 2 right now, which is Unreal Engine uh, 5, and man, that game looks amazing. And then you go back to this game, which is UE4, but still. And it's crazy how much like Unreal Engine can scale upwards and downwards to the needs of the platform. By the way, where are you from? 
Um, some stuff happened, so I don't have a place to go home right now. Oh, so you're like us then? Guess that kind of makes us buddies. No, it doesn't. Well, I'm not so sure about that. But I suppose the Resistance and the Nocturnal Detective Agency are both being impressed by Amaterasu. Our mm. goals and aspirations differ, but we're kind of like friends in that regard. The Master, enemy of the enemy is loner, my friend. So you don't need any friends. What's a professional loner? Yeah, right? Huh? Oh. Oh. Oh, excuse me if I stepped in front of you, mighty NPC. How dare I? Hey, good work being on the lookout. This is our hideout. The Resistance's hideout. There's no running away now. <laughs> I, the NPC really just stopped walking when I stepped in front of him and he was literally like, Dude, dude, what are you doing? I'm not moving an inch till you are getting back in line. <laughs> uh, this game sometimes, man. The lappers. Oh no. I lost again. And that's the revolution, I guess. Hey, you're all here. Great timing since the game's over. Uh Yes. Listen up. I need to introduce someone to all of you. What's going on here? <sighs> all right, let's power through this. Yuma oh, is a master detective of the WDO. Okay. Well, first of all, that apparently moving the camera fix the FPS issue whatever that is great second of all I'm not a master detective huh? Wait, I'm not oh, really so he's one of those master detectives I've heard so much about yeah what is going on with like the FPS when the camera angle is moving that direction Seriously? what the hell sorry I kidnapped you without knowing why do we have an elf in the group anyway I want to recruit him to our resistance yeah, sorry for that. I don't know what this causes it. Like, it's that camera angle. Like, you can see right here. Now the FPS is fine again. Wait, this is much too sudden. And I'm not a master detective. I know I sprang this on you out of nowhere. You know what? We're alike. We both have the same kind of darkness lurking deep within our eyes. Uh, it's more like a death god in my eyes, but sure. Darkness is solitude. Huh? Lol. You're lost, with nowhere to go. Am I wrong? This can be your new home. My new... I guess you're uncomfortable being around so many people when you don't even know their names. Everyone here is a leader within the organization. Yeah, the All FPS is tanking the moment it goes into this camera angle. What the hell? While they don't have any powers as extraordinary as master detectives, they each have their own special abilities. They're all good people. You should talk to them first before deciding to join up or not. As if I have a choice on this. Anyway, let's try talking to everyone. Yeah, so when I'm turning the camera, the FPS here is fine. But here, the, the, the FPS is going completely to shit. What the absolute hack? And this camera angle is also fine. I have... Never experienced that in the game. <laughs> so, you're Yuma from the World Detective Organization. I've been trying to obtain help from the WDO for a while, but I could never get them to agree. 
<laughs> I guess anyone would be hesitant to work with people who call themselves the Resistance. The Resistance. Why do you need detectives? To be honest, it's not limited to detectives. We need help in general. But recruiting blindly is dangerous. There's no telling who might be tied to the Amaterasu Corporation. Yeah. In that Couldn't regard, be us, huh? Detectives from the WDO <clears throat> are safe. Rumor has it they've got terrific personnel. Yeah. Plus, I know your enemies with Amaterasu. I've seen it with this. What's that? It's security camera footage set up all around oh. Kanai. I'm good at tinkering with machines. I handle most of the machine work around here. Mm. Once Kanai Ward is peaceful again, I want to open up a shop selling security devices so that this tragedy can never happen again. I see. By putting cameras everywhere? Even in toilets? Right. Good, good. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I wanna... Is it the old man? Which is causing the stutters? I can, I can evade the stutters by just, you know... Walking like this. So, you're the new member. I'm Aruka. Nice to meet you. Oh, uh, hello. This one seems kind of quiet. Master, women are never what they seem. Even I... Uh... What? Um, uh, can you... Use a gun? Also... Miss, I have swastikas in my eyes. Whatever that is. Huh? A gun? I've never carried one before. Oh, I thought so. What is that you voice actor? Is the type of person who's never had anything to do with guns before. On my fourth birthday, I was given a 22 caliber revolver as a present. That sounds absolutely dangerous. On my fifth birthday, I got a 32, and on my birthday next month, I'm supposed to be getting an anti-tank cannon. Wait, why? Why are they just increasing the caliber with her every birthday? <laughs> As a thumbnail, I have to put there an anti-tank guy. <laughs> and everyone who does watch the episode has no clue what this is all about. Oh my god, I have to do that. Huh? Uh, I don't care what it is. I just want to pull the trigger. <laughs> Give me a trigger to pull. Number one rule of uh, gun safety. Don't pull the trigger. Yuma, if you join us, would you do it with me? Uh, no thanks. I doubt I'd be any good with those things. I've never even held one before. Is this a euphemism? Oh, maybe you misunderstood. I'm not asking you to pull the trigger. Uh, is this a euphemism? I want you to be the target. Must be a euphemism. Do your best to run around. It won't be any fun if it ends in one shot. Yeah, that person should never be allowed to be close to any guns ever in their life. <laughs> she's terrifying. She is. She is nuts. What she is. See, I told you, women aren't what they seem. Even idols take dumps. I. Uh, can you not look at me that way? You're acting like I'm some weirdo. You are. Until Kanai Ward was isolated three years ago. I was a serious candidate for Olympic shooting. With an anti-tank cannon? But when we were shut off from the rest of the world, that included world sports, and I had nowhere to go. Like, welcome to the Olympics in 300 meters shooting. We have Iruka with her... Tomahawk missile? Wait a minute. I can't allow this. I will change Kanai Ward with my firearm skills. <laughs> Master, I know you're a sucker for girls. Of course. 
Also, why is he a sucker for girls? Uh, I, I, whoa. Yeah. No, it's not the old man. If I, if I have the angle like this, it's fine. It must be like the safe or something. Weird. Okay, hey, let's talk Master to the uh, cosplayer. I'm a oh no, it's this dude. It's this dude or something in the background which is causing to be honest, it. I'm rooting for you to join us. Detectives work for anyone as long as the pay is good, right? Oh, we are actually also doing it under under that, but yeah. Meaning, if you pay more than anyone else, they will always side with you. They're far more trustworthy than people who just talk big about fighting for the revolution. Um, I think you've got the wrong idea here. A detective isn't a mercenary. Really? I figured they're about the same. Well, you probably couldn't explain the difference if you were asked to, Master. Hey, Accardi, tell them about your special powers. Oh, I'm from the Doya district, but I used to be a super swimming athlete for Kanai Ward. I do okay. all sorts of aquatic sports. No one can keep up with me in this flooded city. Huh. Anyway, I take advantage of that ability and work as a delivery man. If there's anything you want delivered, I'm your man. Even if it's underwater. Body bags. Huh? We need some body bags underwater for the master detectives who just died. I... I see. Yeah, I think it's the cloth in the background? Yeah, it's not the save. Yep. Yep. It's... It's... This. There's there's something there. Interesting. Well, actually, there we go. Oh, so you're the new member. What's the dude? I'm Margola. I don't know what a master detective is. But did you come in from beyond the rain as well? As well? Beyond the rain? The only thing beyond the rain is Amaterasu Corp. No, I'm not with them. But you said as well. Are you a former member of Amaterasu? That's right. I worked in accounting for that company. Back then they called me the safekeeper. But one day, hmm. I was accused of embezzlement. My entire family was arrested. Of course, my family and I were all innocent. Of course. We were framed. My family got sick and died in jail. All of them. Except me. And there's a motive. That's terrible. I would do anything to destroy Amaterasu. Anything. I own a small shop in Kamasaki District. Publicly, I'm just a retired old man selling old art pieces. But secretly, I manage the funds for the resistance. Hmm. Guess you could say I got re-employed. <laughs> I'm happy to be able to use my skills again. If your hatred of Amaterasu... Hmm. Did you have a chat with everyone already? Guess I'll talk about myself then. Why is the power cable going into the wall fluorescent? <laughs> I mean, kind of cool, but also... Huh? I was born around these parts. It wasn't submerged like this at the time. It really was just another regular city. But my family, as you might expect, lived in poverty. That's why when I was hired by that company, my whole family was thrilled. That company? Yeah. Back then, they weren't dangerous or shady. They were a legitimate business focused on contributing to society. Okay. I don't know when it started to go astray. That seems to be like a big question, huh? We kept receiving more requests from the unified government with an increasing number of top secret projects. Hmm. I mean, the, the man in the tower talked about this in a similar manner, right? That it was just a normal company like everyone else. And then they started to do more and more research for the unified government. 
and something happened, especially when the peacekeepers took over. So I assume that the peacekeepers were like a another group inside Amaterasu Corp, which had like a completely different view on this, and just as the secrets took over. kept piling on, the company continued to grow. Hmm. It sure was a strange sight. Even when I was an employee, I didn't know what was going on. It was like looking at some strange and unknown beast. Before I knew it, everyone was subservient to Amaterasu. The gap between rich and poor was irreversible. Shachi, what kind of work did you do for them? I worked in land development. They buy a promising land and use it for the company. Okay. Here, Doya District was also a part of that. After I purchased this land, Amaterasu filled it with rows and rows of research facilities. The city was poor, but there were these shiny research labs here. Back then, it made us so proud. I probably gave a lot of people money. We thought it'd bring prosperity here. Mm. Or so we hoped. And then came the Monopoly. But three years ago, the unending rain began. The area was flooded. There's another big question, right? I wouldn't be surprised if that is the big mystery. Like, how does it rain all the time? Amaterasu abandoned this place without a second thought. The former residents had nowhere to go. So they were forced to live on top of the flooded research labs. I mean, it makes sense for... Like, that's, that's the problem with sometimes companies. They only see numbers and not people. And so for them, they just did the math. Would it cost us more to abandon this? Or would it cost us more to fix this? And, well, math said would cost you more to fix it. So they abandoned it. But, yeah, that's a, that's, that's a, a general problem with companies most of the time. It's like just doing the numbers and then don't really think about, like, the long-lasting effect it will have. And, well, that's... A <sighs> different topic. And that's what became of Doya District. So that's what happened. It's my fault. I'm the one who made the city this way. Mm, not really. That's why I fight Amaterasu Corp. To help the impoverished still living here. It's the least I can do to make it up to them. It can't be anyone else. I... I have to do it. I mean, dude, you were buying land. Like... You didn't know what they are doing with it. And, more importantly, when you did it at the time, I mean, Terrasso Corp was actually, like, just business, right? They were like, yeah, we, we are cool here, right? So, <sighs> well, not really his fault. Sad story time for now. This is why we need good people on our side. You, you're one of the world-famous master detectives. Please, help us. <sighs> we should really set the record straight, man. How about it, Yuma? Will you stand with us? And help free Kanai Ward from Amaterasu's oppression? Everyone keeps saying the same thing. You've already made up your mind. Go on, answer him. No. <sighs> Thank you for the offer, but I will have to say no. Oh, I see. So you'll fight alongside us. That's great. Did I stutter? Did you hear him? He said no. Huh? What did you say? Well, I suppose you wouldn't. <laughs> Joining the resistance isn't a cool thing to do in this day and age. To be honest, I really don't care as long as I can shoot my guns. And make my game stutter. After all this, you're still rejecting us? Our entire... I'm sorry. I think your aspiration to stand up for the city is great. And I want to support you. But right now, I can't quit being a detective to join you. That would mean betraying people who've taken care of me. And I still have things left undone as a detective. Although, I still don't know why I want to continue as a detective. But that's exactly why I can't quit now. 
It's not that I'm obsessed with being one. Rather, I think detectives are the key to solving my own mysteries. And I want to join the resistance. Oh, you seem to think awfully highly of yourself all of a sudden. This is so unlike you. You're cuter when you're totally panicking and don't know where to turn. I'm still worried about the others who've gone missing. I can't just abandon them and start over somewhere new. <sighs> I see. So you won't reconsider. Nope. In that case, I can't let you leave here alive. Excuse me? What? Just kidding. I already knew you were going to turn us down. <laughs> what? Trying to get you to join on the spot is a tough sell. You have your own stuff going on. So instead, would you be interested in cooperating with us as a detective? Basically, we'd like you to take on a job for us. Oh. Cool. A job? Yeah, it's a simple one, but it's not something we can do. Please, we need your help. Will you at least take on this request? What do I do? That we can do. Chief Yaku isn't here, and the detective agency is, in my experience, taking these requests without permission always leads to trouble. I mean, yeah, the better do. That's the fun. I don't smell any good mysteries nearby. My guess is that these people are taking advantage of you, just like that masked guy. You should ignore them. Yeah, I need to find the others first. I don't have time to take another request. I'm sorry. I'll need to consider it another time. This Once is the first time, time the game is actually letting you make a choice. And I wonder how much this was actually a choice. Like, yeah. I see. So that didn't work either. I need to go now. Please, wait. What? We've just exposed our inner workings. <laughs> Do you really think we'd just let you leave? <gasps> Unlike Shachi, I don't joke around. I'll do what needs to be done. I'm with Iruka. If you're not with us, you're against us. If we let you go, you might leak our info to Amaterasu Corp. How would we do that? I, I would never! It seems you're just an outsider after all. You'll never understand our hatred. Hey! If you're gonna fight, do it outside! Don't mess with my complex machines! We can't let an Amaterasu sympathizer or roam free. Please wait! Let's all take a deep breath. And so you wanna pick a fight with me? Oh, you asked for it! Bring it on! I'll boom kill all of you! Wait, wait! Hold your damn horses! If he could just be threatened into doing our bidding, I would have done so from the start. He's no amateur. He's a WDO master detective. Master detectives can survive even bullet wounds, right? And we should test it out. See, here's, here's the thing, folks. I would have actually joined your little crew here, but Miss, um, I like to shoot everything which moves, is is really some bad marketing. Just gonna Aruka, put that out there. Stop. Put down the gun. The resistance isn't a terrorist group. We don't kill people. <sighs> then you have definitely hired the wrong person here, my friend. Let me talk with a man to man, and we'll wrap things up. Everyone okay with that? If you say so, Shachi. It's fine by me. <sighs> You're the leader. <sighs> Sorry, Yuma. Would you come with me for a bit? Hey, Shachi. What? I thought we were done here. Sorry, Yuma. Go on ahead for a second. We can talk quietly on the rooftop. Go through that door over there and up the stairs. I'll be there soon. The roof got... Run. 
attention of some troublesome folks. Why don't you skip out right now? It's better to finish talking to them now to avoid trouble later on. Besides, wasn't there a lookout at the entrance? Hmm? Oh? I hear someone talking! Is it those guys from earlier? What could they be talking about? Oh my god, it's still lagging when the camera is looking in that direction. Hey, maybe you can hear them talking if you approach the door. I can see inside through a crack in the door. How naughty! Let's take a yeah, peek at what they're Yeah, it's still playing. lagging here. That's crazy. Can't you move through walls, Shinigami? You could just get to the other side. If I left your side, I could slip through a wall or two. But then later, I might lie to you about what I saw. I do love seeing you get all distressed. <laughs> Holy Why? shit. Shh, they're talking right now. That's crazy. I wonder what causes that. Can you make it quick, Iruka? He'll start getting cautious if I keep him waiting. Please, wait. There's something I want to give you. In here. Why won't it open? Damn the safe! Who was in charge of getting a new one anyway? I'll bust it open with a rocket. Treating it roughly won't unlock it. You have to move the dial, then wait exactly five minutes. What? It's the latest time delayed lock. You'll have to wait the specified amount of time without touching anything. Thieves hate wasting time. Time itself is the key for this new feature. Grr, what a pain in the ass. This security function makes it the best safe there is. That is so Nowadays, specific and weird. And I am 99% sure now that somebody dies. District. It's made by trusty old Amaterasu Corp, after all. This was made by Amaterasu? What's it doing here? I never allowed this. Relax. Calm down, old man. Even your clothes and mug were made by the Corp. As long as we live in Kanai Ward, it's impossible to avoid all their products. Though it is ironic that Amaterasu made the safe that protects our assets. Mm -hmm. <sighs> It finally opened. This... Your custom handgun. I modified it to pack more of a punch. This isn't necessary. It's for self-defense. Just in case. Why not take it with you? You never know when you might need it. <sighs> What do I do? They have a gun! They have all guns! A detector stays calm, even when facing the barrel of a gun. Actually, they'd find a way- It's too late for that! Oh, then you're screwed! The lagging makes this so Actually, hilarious. I, I know! Let's run away while we still can. Doesn't the front entrance have someone on lookout? Oh, that's right! Then let's go to the roof. Let's get there first and find a way. Oh, thankfully. Master, hurry up and run! Oh, getting away from whatever causes the lag, man. <laughs> this was the weirdest shit I've ever seen for a long time in the video game. That like one specific part in the level is causing the game just to go down to like five FPS. Uh, on a technical level, this game is a bit of a, like, actually one of the worst Switch games I've played in a while. We need to find a way out. There has to be some place I can escape to. I have to hurry before I'm found. They'll shoot you dead if they find you! They're downed. This place is much higher than I thought. At least you'll get away if you jump off. Though you just end up in the afterlife. There are no footholds or places to grab onto. I don't think I can use this as an escape route. There's no escape! You could say there is zero escape. There's an emergency stairway. Maybe we can escape from here. Master, look carefully near the top of the stairs! A surveillance camera? Speaking of which, they were monitoring it from the other room. If you go past it, they'll definitely see you. 
Let's find another way. And time is up. Sorry to keep you waiting. Uh. He's here. He's not holding a gun. Is he keeping it concealed? He's not trying to shoot you. Why so pale? Scared of heights? Yeah, something like that. I see. Sorry about that. I'll make it quick. About the request earlier, you turned it down because you don't want anything to do with the resistance, right? Huh? No, that's not why. It's all right. As someone from the outside, liberating Kanai Ward has nothing to do with you. I actually would have found you suspicious if you were gung-ho about it. But this is exactly why I think we can have a mutually beneficial relationship. But, but I'm not asking you to do it for free. If you accept this job, we'll give you information on Amaterasu Corporation. What do you mm. say to that? What kind of information? Our organization has a good number of former Amaterasu employees, myself included. That's we have true. Some internal info that you can't get anywhere else. I think we can get you something you want. Do you know what information I'm looking for? I have an idea. If the WDO sent a master detective to gather intel, it's gotta be... Uh, Wait, he only knows that there's only one master detective? Homunculi. Right. <gasps> master! Looks like I'm right. It's not just detectives. The whole world wants info about that. How's this? In place of prepayment for the request, I could tell you a little bit about it. Huh. Um, is it true? Do immortal monsters like homunculi really exist? Yeah. Homunculi do exist. And they're already inside Kanai Ward. Right now. I'm one of them. Right now? There are immortal monsters in this city? So, they really were researching homunculi here? That means they were successful, doesn't it? Isn't that what this dude's saying? It's hard to believe, but could this be Kanai Ward's ultimate secret? Nope. Looks like you're interested. However, I'll only tell you the rest once you finish the job. So how about it? Did I whet your appetite, Master Detective? You should know that I don't have any special abilities. <laughs> I don't plan on making you do anything too difficult. We just want you to run a little errand. An errand? We want to set up some surveillance cameras around town to keep an eye on Amaterasu Corp's oppression. However, this isn't something we can do. Why not? If the peacekeepers see us setting up, they'll definitely start investigating the organization responsible. Hmm. And do you think a master detective they would just like? Which would give them an excuse to stamp out the resistance. Hence, why this job can only be done by someone who isn't affiliated with us. Fair. In other words, you need a pawn you can safely discard if it gets caught by the peacekeepers. I wouldn't put it that way, but you're not wrong. I want you to understand one thing, though. I'm not going to ask you to risk yourself for our sake. But we do want your help in protecting the people of this city. That's the kind of job this is. How does setting up surveillance cameras lead to protecting the people here? Our goal with setting up the cameras is to capture proof of illegal acts carried out by the peacekeepers. I mean, did we not already have established that basically like the peacekeepers are like shady as hell and breaking the law and we'll all that? all the criminal activity they commit, such as intimidation, Assault, theft, embezzlement. We won't fight them with violence. It would only lead to more lives lost. We're gonna take them down the right way. The resistance are not terrorists. He says that while concealing a firearm. He's not fooling us. Even if you gather all that evidence, won't the peacekeepers just cover it up? Yeah, I mean they're the law here. It's not like you have like a, like an oversight committee you can just go to and be like, hey, um, if you didn't know it already, like your peacekeepers? Wow. Wow, look at this photograph. Gathering one or two pieces of evidence is too weak. Man runs the risk of being snuffed out. In order to spread roots throughout town. Someone has to make it clear there are people fighting back. 
to spread roots. The resistance are like underground roots. Right now, we're still thin and weak. But we continue to fight. We'll spread our thin roots everywhere to try and bring life back to this withering tree. And one day, our fully grown brain... Yuma, this is to protect peace in our home. So please, save this city. There it is again. Save this city. How am I supposed to do that? What does everyone expect of me? I'm a shell of a person with no memories. I'd say they're not really relying on you, but more like taking advantage of you. Mm. So what are you going to do? Even if they're taking advantage of me, they're better than that masked guy because their objective is clear. If they have information about the homunculus, I want it. Setting up surveillance cameras shouldn't be too hard. But then... All right, I accept your request. Great! I'm glad you made up your mind. I knew I could count on you. Well, let's get started. Let's do this then. Uh-oh. Shachi, sorry to interrupt. There's a fight on the main street. Another turf war in the usual garbage dump. Can I toss a grenade down there? Hold on, you stay out of it. I'll go talk to them. Sorry, Yuma. But can you go down and get instructions from Servan about the job? I'm counting on you. Why do I have a feeling that he would die? So, you decided to do it. You better not drag us down. Man, if there would be an incident I happening to her. Best. That would be great. You can't turn back now. You better hope the reward is worth it. Let's head back down for now and talk to Servan about the job. <sighs> I'm so glad you weren't killed, Master. <laughs> well, you will be surprised, but I'm also pretty glad that I'm not dead. I know it's weird, right? But I'm, I'm actually glad about that. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Man, even through the walls, it starts to lag when I move the camera to one specific area. That is insane. Absolutely so, insane. Let's to the job. That's good. Let me fill you in on the details then. Yes, please. You will be setting up surveillance cameras in four designated. These are the cameras you're going to be setting up. Oh. They're delicate machines, so handle them with care. Also, I'll give you a transceiver for communication. It's shaped like a smartwatch since they're so trendy nowadays. That's a pip boy. Size-wise, not a smartwatch. I'll tell you where to set up the cameras with it. Locations will be kept secret until last minute to avoid leaks. Once you finish setting one up, I'll give you the next location. Where's the first location? I'll contact you as soon as you leave, so I can test the transceiver's performance at the same time. Huh. If you don't hear anything from me, there's a chance the transceiver is broken. Bring it back here, and I'll fix it. All right. I'm counting on you. Be sure not to get caught by the peacekeepers. They're gonna cut you off if you get caught anyway. I'll do my best. Let's leave the laggy place. That's that's the only thing I want. I ended up accepting the ch If this helps Kanai Ward in some way, it could reduce the number of unsolved mysteries. Yes. Even if I can't help the whole world become happier, I can at least help those closest to me. And if I complete this request, I have a chance to get closer to Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. It's fine to be optimistic and everything, but I doubt it'll go as planned. This is you we're talking about. You're like the Grim Reaper for everyone else. I know one when I see one. I mean, like you're one to talk. Yeah. Anyway, what about the other detectives who got bombed? You sure you haven't forgotten about them? I'd never forget them. Hmm, that's... Ah, come on, let's go. I mean, 
maybe the security cameras will actually help us to find the other detectors faster, right? Because we can we cannot be at all the places at once in Kana Ward, but with the cameras, it might be actually doable, and we might actually be able to oh, find them. I'm getting a call. Testing, testing. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? No. Servan? Yes, I can hear you. So far, so good. Here are the instructions for the first camera location. For the first surveillance camera, I want you to set it up at a phone booth in the commercial area, Marunamon District. Marunamon District. I've never been there before. Oh, really? Well, I'll send you directions through the transceiver. Hmm. Thank you. Contact me when you arrive. I'll tell you how to set it up then. You look like you're pretending to be a spy. I'm not pretending. This is actual spy work. Uh. Well, let's head to Marunamon District for now. I wonder what kind of murders are happening in Marunamon District. I can't wait to find out. Cases like that don't just happen all the time. This way. And then up here. Master, do you get the sense we're being watched? What? Yeah, I think so too. We better get out of here quick. Looks mm. like it connects to the riverbank from here. Question is if we are getting really watched by whom? If it is the resistance who just wants to make sure that we are not like against them? Okay, I can get that. If it is the peacekeepers, we have a problem. Uh can I take a bus stop to that thing? Is that fast way? Uh yeah. Awesome. That way, or maybe this way. Wait. Ready. This seems like upper class. So this is Marnamon District. It's supposed to be the commercial area. That makes sense. It sure looks like it. Yep. Compared to other parts of town, it seems kinda uptight. A jobless and homeless person like you has no business being here, huh? <sighs> Setting aside being homeless, I am working as a detective. Even if I'm still a trainee. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's go find that phone booth. <laughs> you bitch. Where is that phone booth Sylvana was talking about? Uh... There are a lot of busy looking people in Marnamon district. Are they though? Master, you might have forgotten because of your amnesia, but this is what people look like when they're working. Walking you around? Me an apology for that careless remark. Why do I have to apologize to you? Hey, isn't that a phone booth? Huh. Is that the phone booth? I wish you were kind of surprised that the they still exist. Time to contact Servan. Servan, can you hear me? I arrived at the telephone booth in Marunamon District. Great job, Master Detective. You work fast. Can you go inside the booth and set up the camera underneath the phone stand? Here's how you set it up. Okay. Finished. How's this? Good. I can confirm via the video feed. That's it for the first camera. Check your surroundings for any peacekeepers. Got it. No peacekeepers. Nobody here has even noticed me. That's when you need to be most careful. They can appear out of nowhere. 
Day. Here's the next location. Head to the front of the cafe in Ginma District. Ah, I know where that is. Contact me once you've arrived. Hmm. I thought you were like a spy, but you're more like an errand boy. <laughs> I love your faces, man. Boy detective case files just received another entry. I'm happy to help other people out. Three cameras left. At this rate, this shouldn't take too long. If that's the case, how about we take a detour? I've never been here before. You need to find the other detectives, right? Maybe you'll find their corpses around here. You just hope for a case. I'm going to ignore that last part. But maybe if we ask around, we'll find someone who has seen them. That's the only thing she wants. She wants a case. I should gather and some information I'm with before her. moving on to the next part. I want back a case, man. Let's ask these people if they know about Chief Yaku and the others. I don't think so. But going around just asking random questions about master, master detectives is probably not a wise idea, you were just saying. What do you want? The bank? Yeah. Which is why the line all Okay. Yeah, we just skip through this a bit. My colleague, I hear there's a maybe I should ditch work and go the cafe in Ginma. I need to gather a little more information. Um, uh, huh? One of them has f another carries a bat. Sorry. Let's hear what other people have to say. Oh god, really? Oh. This city has completely thanks to that. Um, have you? Huh? You mean like people? I see. Maybe yes. There are some more questions out there. Have you seen like bodies drifting in the water, being torn apart by explosions? Any chance? No. Huh? Um. I work at the power plant. All of the rainfall in con and then hydroelect. That's very in. I spoke to a few people, but no one seems to have seen them. Of course not. Unfortunately, I didn't smell the stench of corpses either. Well, if there aren't any corpses, then they're probably alive somewhere. Great! That's true, but for now I should get back to the job. They might get worried if I take too much time. Next to some cafe in Ginma Yeah, I've been there before. Okay. Let's take the bus. Um, right here. Yoink. Are you excited? Are you excited? You know what's coming up? <laughs> Another loading screen! Hey. That's definitely one of the things I... I would not miss if there should be a Nintendo Switch too. Yeah. Like, don't, don't get me wrong. But I'm, I'm hoping they will improve that significantly. What's going on? There are tons of customers. It wasn't as crowded last time I was here. Maybe they got some new dessert people can't help but snap photos of. Humans love lining up for stuff like that. Or maybe just eating the dessert? But only men are lining up. Anyway, this is a bad time to set up a camera. Sirvan, I'm at the location, but the cafe is extremely crowded. Hmm. I want to avoid any prying eyes. Is there something you can do about it? What do you mean? I want you to set up a surveillance camera at the cafe's bus stop so we can view the main street. Mm. Call me back once you figure out how to make it happen. Counting on you! That was not on the contract. Uh, he hung up. What now? What does he expect me to do? How about we boom kill everyone? Let's do it. How about we don't? Ah. Then what? You want to wait until all the customers go home? <laughs> anyway, let's look in. There's probably a hot new waitress or a hot new bun everyone wants. It's jam packed in here. This will take a while. Fire! Can I get a refill for my coffee? Coffee over here too? Sure! Coming right up! 
Fubuki? Oh, Yuma? What the hell? I, I love this cafe, by the you way. This looks amazing. Try some of my coffee. Uh, I, no, not coffee. I, oh, you're okay. How dare you be all right, too, Yuma? Huh? What? Anyway, I'm Wait, just glad you're what? Okay, Fubuki. I am grateful you were born as well, Yuma. I ought to thank your parents. Uh, I mean, that was probably the easiest part. Excuse me, where's my coffee? Okay. At the most fun part. Coming right up. Wait, what? I'm glad Fubuki's all right, but I don't even know where to start with her. <sighs> it's not the problem of where to start with her. It's more like the problem of where to end with her. Like, that, that woman is just... Seems that sheltered skank is tough to kill. I wouldn't mind if she died. Okay, that's rude. Why do you keep saying stuff like that? I just hate airheads. Only losers find girls like her attractive. Um, Fubuki? What are you doing here? I am fencing coffee. Everyone says it is delicious. No, like, why? Fencing? I have never worked in a place like this before. It is rather exciting. I have always had an interest in waiting tables. I feel as though I am blossoming with a talent I never knew I had. Are you actually working here? Yes, I am an adventurer detective coffee fencer. Where do I even start? See, this is why I hate airheads. Uh, uh. Anyway, uh. how did you survive that explosion? Well, I was falling underwater, but... Thankfully, my head is that light that it actually dragged me upwards and I was like swimming on the surface then, thanks to my air head. That is a maiden secret. Huh? Huh? Uh, okay. What about the other master detectives? And Chief Yako? Is everyone alright? Unfortunately, I have yet to see anyone since the explosion. I figured someone would appear if I waited at this cafe. But... Perhaps everyone died. My deepest condolences. No! Everyone must still be alive! Come to think of it, waiting at this cafe instead of blindly searching is a good approach. Halara often visits here. Halara probably saw her and was just like, uh-uh, I find a new cafe. I, I will find a new place. Like, mm, this is that not worth it. Said, I felt bad just idly sitting around. So I started working. Mm. And as a result, we were reunited. Mission accomplished. I see. I'm starting to understand the situation. Oh no. However, ever since I started working, the number of customers has steadily risen. Is she my partner for this mission? Oh no. Don't do this to me, game. Please don't. I was beginning to mentally prepare myself to settle here. From the cradle to the grave. Ah, so all the customers here are after Fubuki. I mean, duh. Every single one of them has ulterior motives. Huh. Say, Yuma. She is just jealous. Here. She's jealous because she has around the same boob size as she has, and as we know from previous encounters, she has a problem with that. Like she's making fun of everyone who has a smaller chest size than she has, right? And that somebody has like around the same boob size, that's like a no-go for her. Yep. Well, it's a long story. That's the character she is. Boob anxiousness. And that's what happened. <laughs> Wait, she's gone? She she probably stopped listening after a minute, dude. Yuma, sorry to keep you waiting. I must procure more coffee. 
Procure? Aren't you brewing it here? I order coffee from the hotel restaurant and get them to brew it. <laughs> Wait, you're just serving coffee from the hotel? Uh, Correct. Smart. I... I see. So that's why she calls it fencing. This is crazy. So... What are you doing here again, Yuma? As I was saying, some people asked me... Okay. Speaking of Fubuki... Oh? Using violence? Some other way. Very well. Leave it to me. What? Was asking for her help really a good idea? No. No. I highly doubt it. She's burning down. Everyone, there's a cafe just across the way that serves even better coffee. This way. Follow me. And that, dear gentleman, is why you not make decisions with your pee pee. Hey, that actually worked. All right, now's my chance to set up the camera. Better get to the bus stop. Now's the best time to set up the camera at the bus stop. Right, because nobody will use the bus stop, whatever that is. Ooh, that should do it. Yuma, how did it go? Perfectly. Splendid. We work well together. Yeah. I'm sure we would make great partners. No. What? Was that a marriage proposal? Huh? No, I was just agreeing with you. Oh, right. My apologies. I lost my composure. Phew. I almost became an adventurer detective wife. I, how easy... Can somebody get a marriage out of you? Girl, stop selling yourself so cheap. <laughs> Master has already sworn his life to another. And right here. <sighs> I'm getting a headache. <sighs> well, since we have reunited, I will help you with your work, Yuma. I agree with Yuma. A lot, actually. Are you sure? Better fit for adventuring than waiting tables. You and I are now partners. You can rely on me. Yay? Thank you. No need to be strangers. You can speak to me with phrases full of slang like we are old chums. After all, we are the last two survivors. No, we are not. Listen, everyone has to be alive. <laughs> I got the video feed from the second camera a bit ago. This is going great. Seems like Shachi was right about you, detective. The third location is in Kamasaki District. Set it on top of the vending machine near the hotel. Ah, I know where that is. I'm counting on you. Next is Kamasaki District. <sighs> I'm tired of these errands. Where can we find more corpses? When we're done with the errand. Maybe a corpse in a kimono hung upside down. Or corpses with you shouldn't joke about that. It could actually happen in this city. Yes, Yuma, it could. Are you talking to an invisible person? Huh? What? Did she notice me? I heard it just now. A oh. man's voice talking about a camera. Oh, you mean this? It's a transceiver. The voice is my client. I'm receiving instructions through it. Oh, is that so? Apologies for my ignorance. That sure freaked me out. I thought she heard my voice. <laughs> that, that would have been crazy if at some point she was just turning to Shinigami and goes like, Can you finally shut up? Best moment in this game. <laughs> I've lived inside a mansion since I was young and know little about the ways of the world. Pray tell. I'm so naive. 
Let the servants call me dummy thick behind my back. That's rude. I don't think that's what they meant. Anyway, it's never too late to learn new things. But also thick. I mean also me, for example. Not really thick. I've forgotten everything, but I'm still alive. That is true. I am much better off when compared to the state your head is in, Yuma. <laughs> right. In any case, I now know that is a transceiver. Your client must be so small to fit inside there. Is she really a master detective? She'd struggle to live even a normal life. I'm so glad that I have an appointment with my psychologist on Monday and we can just talk about this because this gives me anxiety. I can't deny that. Anyway, holy we have shit. A princess from Wonderland here. So, have fun escorting Ooh. her. I'm getting worried. We have to get to the vending machine near the hotel in Kamasaki district. I am like, wow. I need to talk to somebody about this. That's a, that's a great thing about live streams. You can just talk to your chat, right? You can just be like, help me chat. Help me make it through this. I need your strength. And then chat is mostly silence because they are all lurking. Most bastards. No, love you, chat. Um, but no, it's just like it makes like with chat, it makes it so much easier most of the time, right? <laughs> so <laughs> I'm missing that. This way. And there goes the camera. That's it for number three. Three, and after three is um... five. Okay. I've confirmed Five. the feed. Huh. Video quality is poor. Could it be the location or the cable? Let me adjust things. Uh, do you mind standing by for now? All right. Fubuki, we need to be on standby until we get further orders. We should move so the peacekeepers don't spot us. Understood. What? Let's wait under the overhang for Servan to get in touch. feel so awkward what should I talk about nothing thanks for waiting I finished making the adjustments. just nothing silence is completely fine sometimes I managed to process it on my end so there's nothing you need to do over there got it can we leave this place now yeah head to the next location this is the last one. The last camera will need to be set up on the road in front of Etheria Academy. Ah. Thanks. That's Kurumi School. There shouldn't be a lot of people there at this hour. Should be easy enough. Yuma, they say time is lightning, so we need to hurry and strike. I... Why did... No, the say... What? Um, I think you mean money, not lightning. What? Time is money. Never mind. Let's go. Right. You know, when she is coming into the, the mystery the labyrinth the Academy. and then yeah, she loses yeah. all her memories, it doesn't matter. Because she doesn't get it anyways. And she would lose her memories anyways an hour after all the things which happened. Like, this is like the easiest thing possible. I'm just waiting for the moment that one of her abilities is actually split personality and then she is transforming into a master Sherlock Holmes detective. Let's end it quick. But again. Ah oh, yes, please. Yes. That should do it. I assume that her ability is something completely trivial. Servan, I finished setting up the surveillance camera. The video quality checks out. <laughs> Seems we're all good here. 
We got all four cameras up and running now. I don't see peacekeepers patrolling the area, and it looks like no one saw you. Good job. Great work handling this mission so quickly. <laughs> Detectives sure are reliable. I hope the cameras help you expose peacekeeper corruption. That's right. I believe this is the first step toward peace. All that's left is to report back to Shachi. I'm sure he has other stuff to talk about, so do you mind telling him? The frequency for Shachi's transceiver is 37.564. Thanks. Snake? Snake? Snake! Frequency. Oh, I guess I can turn the dial here. This errand boy quest was a pain. But it'll be worth it if you get info about Amaterasu. I'm glad there wasn't any conflict involved. I was lucky to find Fubuki too. Yeah. This works out surprisingly well. Oh boy. Let's finish up. That's not good in this game. Searching for Chief Yako and the others. Shachi's frequency is 37.564. I wonder if we can dial in 69420. Huh? Five minutes until detonation? What is this? Wait, don't tell me. Is that thing gonna explode? That's a countdown, right? It, it'll explode? It's near the telephone booth in Marnamon District. That's where we set up the first security camera. Oh shit! What is the matter, Yuma? You look like you just pressed a bomb's detonation button. I give up. I just give up with this. Wait, Master, you pressed it? I just. More importantly, what? Anyway, let's go check it out. Maybe this is some sort of prank. Fubuki, we're heading to Marunomon District. We need to hurry. All right. I do not understand, but it sounds like an adventure. The problem is we have only five minutes. With the loading screens of the Nintendo Switch, it will take us at least six minutes till we get there. <laughs> the problem is, I assume that all the bombs will go kaboom at the same time. Yep. Please let me be wrong. Let's hurry to the phone booth. And the there was a Where did it take place? peacekeeper. I think it was the phone booth. Explosions. I, so I don't know what the fluff explosions are, Bane. <laughs> God, I have to watch the newest season of uh, Harlequin. <laughs> uh, I haven't. I haven't had the chance yeah. yet. And I really I'm so have to. Okay. If you have never watched the Harley Quinn animated show, you should. It is freaking amazing. Away. Was that the explosion earlier? A public phone exploded. Maybe the batteries were overcharged. From the looks of it, the silver lining is no one's been injured in the explosion. Yeah, that would change with the other cameras, There's though. Something on the transceiver. What you heard wasn't some mere explosion. It is the call to rebellion. The smoke you see isn't just the smoldering ash of a stamped out flame. It is the signal for revolution. What? This message? Servan, can you hear me? Servan? Shachi, please answer. What you're about to hear echo across Kanai Ward is the song of revolution. Isn't that the swimmer guy? Revolution inevitably requires sacrifice. Beloved citizens falling as casualties cannot be avoided. However, death comes equally to us all. Equality is revolution. So death is revolution? That being said, a revolution must also be fair. Thus, since you were the one to plant the bombs, I will also give you a chance to stop them from exploding. The one who planted the bombs? So Yuma, you were not setting up surveillance cameras. You were planting bombs? 
Nope. You have set four bombs around Kanai Ward. One of them just detonated. Eh. The first bomb was a demonstration, so the damage was minimal. But now you've seen this message is no joke. The bombs are real. <sighs> this message is so... <laughs> Uh, so the next one would be cafe, right? Yeah. When it's armed, move the transceiver close to the bomb and cut the detonation circuit. However, to cut a detonation circuit, you must perfectly execute the steps as displayed on the transceiver screen. You have 60 minutes to act. Whether to disarm the bombs or not is up to you. Once the timer reaches zero, this transceiver will explode along with the bombs. Oh, that's unfortunate. Meaning, you cannot avoid death. Even if you ignore the people and try to flee, there is no escaping the revolution. You decide the future of Khan Ward. I wish you luck. Wh why? <laughs> This isn't funny! The countdown's already started! If I don't disarm the bombs, then I'll blow up with this watch! Then just take it off! Oh, right! That, of course, doesn't work. No good, it won't come... Maybe it explodes if you force it off. You should have mentioned that earlier! <laughs> Breaking news from the Amaterasu Corporation Peacekeepers. Oh, those are new ones. What the shit am I looking at? Are you loving your happy subservient life? It's your peacekeeper counterterrorism squad leader, Ian Hall. Okay. My special party trick is fortune telling. Here it goes. <laughs> Bad luck today for anyone with a Baron Icy's hair constellation sign. Some jealous Baldi is gonna kill you. By the way, the guy behind me is Dominic. As you can see, he's an absolute intellectual. Come on and say hi, Slowpoke. That was, yeah, I, I mean, he said it out loud. But thank Clear, you, right? Least, like, we've already identified the perpetrator. Ta da! Here he is. His name is Yuma Coco Head. Wow, well, he sure looks like a terrorist, all right. As you know, Khan I Well, apparently, we got trapped. Terrorists have no human rights here. Everyone, kill him on sight. <laughs> the peacekeepers say it's A OK. Hey. You underhanded, rotten, bottom-feeding terrorist bomber trash. You listening? You've got well. to run. Okay? Okay, come on. Do something, you nitwit. <laughs> Is this a joke? Why am I... Hey, I think I recognize that face. Please help me. Wait, I'm not a terrorist. I've been set up. A set up? So you're... That's all I can think of, since she said there was a leak. So Shachi and the Resistance tricked me? They took advantage of me? I don't think so, necessarily. He spoke so passionately about peace. Was it all I right? assume that one of them did. Probably the old man. He has don't a motive. Them with violence. It would only lead to more lives lost. We're gonna take... Yeah, I don't How think so. this be the right way? Was... They were pretty violent from the moment you were taken to their hideout. Not really. W what? It's fine to be all sentimental. Uh, did they already notice me? 
The explosion of the countdown is still ticking away. There's no time to stand around and think. At this rate, you're gonna end up dying as a terrorist. I don't want that. We have to go disarm those bombs. Oh, but first, there's still time until the next explosion. We should visit the Resistance's hideout. What? No. Boom killing them is payback for tricking you, right? What? Of course not. Master, you still believe these people can be reasoned with? I... Yuma, is something the matter? Are you sure we should not be in a hurry? I mean, if she is even recognizing Fuki, that, please that... hear me out. No. If the next bomb is disarmed, there are two more. Right now, we have a grace period of 60 minutes. But we don't know if the same will be true of the rest. That's why we need to stop this whole plot, while there's still even a little bit of extra time remaining. So you have a plan then? No. I'm going to see the client. If the client really is behind this, then I have to try and convince them to stop. I doubt it'll go so smoothly. Anyway, we mm. have to act now. We can think about it later. Very well. Danger always accompanies adventure. I will stay by your side. After all, we are the last survivors, partner. Oh boy, why does everyone want to see them all dead? <laughs> also, I still believe everyone is alive. The Resistance hideout was in Doya District. Don't come crying to me if this all goes south. Hmm. Oh well. Yeah, I think we got set up, but only by one person and not all of them. Well, and thus, we got set up, and we are now the culprit. Makes sense. I'm kind of curious how it goes. Um, like, I assume that only one did it, and one person was using the resistance to actually, like, put their plan in motion and get their revenge like that. So, yeah, I also believe that nobody will be there at the hideout when we are arriving. So we will see how that goes. Um, but as I said it before, folks, keep in mind that probably this Friday there won't be a new episode. Uh, I'm, still, I'm still not sure about it. I have to see. But yeah, chances are pretty pretty high that you are getting some Baldur's Gate here on the channel. And then we will just continue on Monday. Yeah, we have to see. Like the next, the next few days will be... On Monday I also have like some errands to run like some important one and yeah we, we have to see but i keep it posted uh, don't forget to check out my twitter which is at twitter.com slash chaos mall of x or check out the discord also make sure to check out my other youtube channels i have which is uh the mole under management channel the and the mole rp channel if you want to see more of me and what i'm doing uh, with that said, please don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already. And then I will see you with the next episode super soon. Till then, bye-bye!